This is Gadget Man 404. I'm gonna have a test flight with my ET200. It's an i1 Extreme uh, flight control board and motors, but it's HQ6045 props, a Lemon RX Diversity 8 channel PPM receiver, a 1300 milliamp hour battery, two cells, 7.4 volts. I'm using a Spectrum DX6i transmitter. And uh, yeah, I've had a few issues with it over the last few flights. Sometimes it keeps changing mode in flight, so I reconfigured it all yesterday, and hopefully that's resolved the issue. So, so here we go. Seems to be handling just fine. So, one of the um, when you build this kit, and this might be the reason why, but the uh, nuts and bolts, if you like, that you get with it are plastic. And a while ago, I had a bit of a collision with the ground. So basically, uh, it sheared the plastic bolt. So it didn't break the uh, carbon fibre arm at all. So I changed that all yesterday. And now its characteristics are fantastic. It's always a good flyer, this one. This quad just loves to go high. Because I changed the frame, I basically, the, the frame it had was light anyway, but it was very weak because it was just plastic. So I changed it to a carbon fiber frame and I'm using the ET Diatone 200 mil. And it's strong as anything. I mean, I've had a few bumps and things but it's not really it's not bothered it at all and so I just thought I'd reconfigure the I'd rebind it and everything and then reset up the learning process because for some reason it would change even after I'd done it yesterday, 
it were changing from beginner mode, which is a green button, anyone that knows the other one extreme. In beginner mode, it's a green button. And uh, sport mode is an orange light. And uh, acro mode, which I don't fly in on purpose, is red, a red light. Uh, when it flashes rapid amber or orange, that is in altitude hold, which this quadcopter has a barometer, and it does carry a GoPro for something so small, but I don't carry a GoPro because I don't own one, but just to get more flight time, I deliberately fly with a lighter camera. I mean, I'm way away, I'm quite a way away from myself here. And the distance, like I say, one of my aerials, it's got a diversity uh, Lemon 8 channel PPM receiver. And one of the aerials, uh, just a little sort of the plastic sheathing, uh, it sheared off when I had my uh, little bump with the grass. So I got in touch with the company and they've been really funny saying you already had replacement, you have to buy it. So I went to buy the aerial, about one pound, I think it was going to cost me like one dollar ninety. And then because they'd already sent me a replacement uh, receiver, they wouldn't actually send me the new thing even though I'd already paid for it. So they cancelled the order. And at the moment, I'm using this with just one aerial. And I just peeled back some of the wire, like the black sheathing. And, uh, well, it's working fine. So maybe you don't need no aerial, but it's quite uh, gusting. Yeah. I always, I never go too far with this. Because I did have issues with the stock transmitter. It always used to, something used to go off when I was a fair distance. Not really, really far. But I never trusted the stock blur. See that? I don't know what went off there. I think it's still, yeah, it's still okay. Probably the wind just sort of took it and flipped it around a little bit. But no, this is a good, a good setup, and I will. Uh, uh, as you saw then, that was just going down and down. It wouldn't come up, I think. The battery.